Hey guys, today I have teamed up with Cantu to bring you guys some of my favorite tips and tricks to extend that salon visit. This is ideal for all of my back to school ladies, anybody who's in the military and you just don't have access to your stylist. Well, I'm here to share with you some of my great tips that have gotten me through as well as some of my clients. So let's jump right in. All right, you can see that my hair has gone through. It is super dry and it just needs to be rehydrated. My first step is to use the Coil Calm Detangler from Cantu. You guys, this detangler is specially formulated to have incredible slip. It offers conditioning to your hair, all while removing all of that dead shed hair. So I start by spraying the Coil Calm Detangler right at the ends of my hair, and then I work in towards my roots always using the praying hands because this is how I get it into my hair the best way. Another important step I like to do once I get my hair detangled is to section it off into workable sections. This makes it so much easier to move on to the next step. If I was in between shampoos, I would definitely use the Complete Conditioning Co-Wash by Cantu. But as you guys saw, my hair needs a lot more than that. So I'm going with the Sulfate Free Cleansing Cream Shampoo today. I'm going to shampoo my hair by working the shampoo from my roots to the ends. And then I'm going to rinse that out. And then I'm going to remove all excess water with a t-shirt. I like using a t-shirt because it's smooth. It still absorbs water, but it doesn't take my kinks with it. So no breakage over here. Now we're gonna move on to conditioning. Now if you co-wash, you don't need to condition because it's built in. But I'm gonna be using the sulfate-free hydrating cream conditioner today. I'm gonna start by emulsifying some in my hands and then I'm going to use it right on the ends of my hair because that is the oldest hair on my head. The hydrating cream conditioner is formulated to prevent breakage as well as split ends. So I really wanna focus on the ends of my hair. I'm then going to move towards my roots. Now that I have the product evenly distributed throughout my whole head, I'm gonna place it under a shower cap. I love using a shower cap while I'm conditioning because it creates an amazing natural steam effect, which opens up my cuticle and really allows the water in the conditioner to really moisturize my hair. So leave that on for about five to 10 minutes, shower, do whatever you want, and then rinse your hair. Now we're moving on to the LCO method, not to be confused with the LOC method. This is liquid, cream, and then oil. Starting with damp hair, I'm now going to add my Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner, which is my cream. My hair being damp is my liquid. I'm now adding my cream. I'm gonna start with the ends and work that all the way through to the roots of my hair. Now I'm gonna take the Anti-Frizz Argan Oil Oil and I'm going to do the same thing using the praying hands and make sure that it's evenly distributed all over my hair. And guess what guys, my moisture is locked into my hair. Liquid, cream, oil another way to steal moisture into your hair if the lock method doesn't work for you. With my moisture already locked into my hair, it's now time to move into setting my style. I'm gonna be using the moisturizing curl activating cream as well as my styling agent, which is the moisturizing twist and lock gel. So my first thing I'm gonna do is part out the section of hair that I wanna work in. It's mandatory that I part and section my hair off. This allows me to work through my hair with ease and it removes all anxiety. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that moisturizing curl activating cream and I'm going to emulsify it over that whole section. I like to part out enough where I can do about three twists at a time. Now I'm gonna add in my moisturizing twist and lock gel. This is my holding agent. I talk to a lot of people and they're always like, how do you get the definition and how do you keep it for more than a day? You have to add a holding agent. So now you see I use my Demon to evenly distribute the products throughout my hair. Did you guys see the definition in the curls that I got? Exactly. You want to find a combination that's going to give you that because that's also going to relay when you take down the twist. So I'm going to simply continue to remove all tangles and twist my hair to the ends doing a finger coil at the end of each twist. Another question that I often get is how much product am I supposed to use when setting my hair? I say use as much product as you want because when you twist, it's naturally going to be excess product pushed off of your hair. Simply remove it with a t-shirt and keep it moving. So now we're moving to the top of my head. I'm going to section off another large section so that I can work within that section, do a couple of twists at a time. Remember, sectioning is the way that you relieve ease. It also helps you move through your hair quickly. The rest of my hair, I'm simply going to bun and put it underneath the shower cap to assure that it's going to stay hydrated. Now I'm going to apply my Moisturizing Curl Activating Cream for my definition. This Curl Activating Cream gets my curls 
popping. When I say popping, y'all, I mean popping. Next, I apply my moisturizing twist and lock gel for my styler. This is going to hold everything into place so that I can get my twist out to last for several days. Now I'm simply parting out my hair. I'm going to do a flat twist towards my face and I'm basically going to do a spoke style all the way around the top part of my head. Now because we're all about healthy in nice looking hair, we want to add the finishing touches. So I'm going to start with the Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. This is a cream that you use on like your temples, your scalp. It allows your scalp to be healthy so your hair grows out healthy and strong. Brilliant, right? Now you're seeing me twist my twist back. I do this to make sure that my twists stay elongated and it also allows me to wear my hair like this for a couple of days and it still looks really nice. I love this style. I always get a ton of compliments on it. It really just shows off your face. It's so regal and I just think it's so pretty. So with my hair all twisted back and into a bun, I'm just going to pin down all of my loose ends and then I'm moving on to my final and last step. I'm going to be taking the Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel and I'm going to smooth down those edges. I love this product because it has castor oil in it. Not only does it keep those edges sleek, it makes them healthy and strong. Alright, so now you're seeing how it would look throughout the week. Super cute and chic look, great for school, work, whatever. You can even add accessories to jazz it up a bit. But think about this, you guys. During the week, you kind of do the same thing. You don't have much going on. So you're kind of just holding this style in protective style mode. To prep you for the weekend, yes, you untwist it and voila. All right, guys, so those are some of my favorite tips and tricks. Now, these tips and tricks are not just limited to extending your salon visits, but they're also ideal for anybody who is new to being natural, who's transitioning, or who just needs some help on knowing how to do the LCO method or praying hands. So don't hesitate to share this video. Oh, and another cool thing, you can gather all of these great Cantu products up, make an amazing care package, it would be so encouraging to get something like this. I wish I would have thought of this actually. I have a lot of friends who just went natural. I wish I would have thought to make them a care package and send it to them as a way of encouraging them. Or if I had a younger sibling or somebody who I knew who was away and who couldn't get these, this, this is a good idea, y'all. Yeah, y'all heard that here first. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.